Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Under the Radar, a place where you discuss your favorite basketball players and hoopers inside and outside the NBA. Today's story is about the future of the San Antonio Spurs, Kelton Johnson, the man who is currently torching the NBA as we speak. And let's get on to the video. Kelton Wilder Johnson was born on October 11, 1999 in Chesterfield, Virginia to parents Chris and Rochelle Johnson. Kelden also has three siblings like his brother Kyle, his sister Kristen, and Kelden also has a younger brother named Caleb Johnson who also currently plays basketball for the Austin Spurs, the G League affiliate of the San Antonio Spurs. Kelden's basketball journey started when he played his high school freshman season in Parkview High School located in Southville, Virginia where he averaged 27 points per game while also setting a new 9th grade scoring record in the state of Virginia, where Kelton scored a total of 597 points, making him the best high school freshman in the state of Virginia. Apparently, the scoring record that Kelton broke remained unbroken since 1952. Dang, that's long. Kelden would show his great work ethic ever since he was still in high school, and according to his former middle school slash high school basketball coach Danny Watkins, coach Danny Watkins would actually say this about Kelden and his work ethic. One of the biggest things that I feel that separates him from a lot of players and everything is just wanting to be in the gym to work on his game, constantly wanting to be the best that he could be. And as a sophomore in high school, Kelden would actually lead the Dragons to the VHSL Class 3 State Tournament. And after his sophomore season in high school finished, Kelden did not actually have much D1 college offers coming into his high school junior season. But the offers started piling in like water when Kelden dominated the Nike EYBL with averages of 21.5 points, 7.4 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and 2.4 steals a game. Kelden would lead the Nike EYBL in steals and was a top 10 scorer, with his team Boo Williams with a 7-1 record, proving to D1 colleges and scouts alike that he is one of the best high school basketball players in the country. When Kelden got back home after the tournament, his phone was buzzing, and Kelden would actually say this after playing in the EYBL. Kelden said, It was a lot more attention. I can't lie. My phone was blowing off the hook every day. This decision of playing in the EYBL really benefited Kelden in the long run, because out of all the high school league tournaments, the Nike EYBL tournament is the best in terms of overall exposure for D1 colleges, but it is also known as a place where 4-star and 5-star recruits showcase their talents. And if you outplay a 5-star recruit as a 3-star recruit, you will eventually become a 5-star recruit yourself. And this exact situation actually happened to Kelden. But after dominating the EYBL, Kelden's national recruitment ranking went up from being top 25 recruit to becoming a top 15 recruit in the nation and some recruiting websites like ESPN would actually rank Kelden as the top 7 best recruit in the nation. Anyways, Kelden would actually transfer to Huntington Prep prior to his junior season, putting him in close proximity to Lexington for those Kentucky visits. And Kelden would also play a national schedule with the Prep Powerhouse that actually had players, NBA players, such as Andrew Wiggins, Miles Bridges, and Thomas Bryant in recent years. Kelden would say this about his experience of playing in Huntington Prep. It was a great move. They developed me as a player. They developed my body. They did an awesome job. My jump shots got a lot better. Everybody has known me for scoring the basketball. Now, it's having the playmaking aspect of the game, making my teammates better so we could win big games. And after playing in Huntington Prep, Kelden would discuss his basketball future with his family and most especially his dad Chris. And Kelden would actually say, Dad, I want to go to Oak Hill because if I gonna be the best, I want to play against the best. That's what I'm talking about, Kelden. So Kelden transferred to Oak Hill and quickly became one of the best players on the team with averages of 22 points, 6.8 rebounds, and 4.4 assists per game. And he was named as the Virginia Gatorade High School Player of the Year and was a McDonald's All-American. 
and Keldon was rated as a 5-star recruit according to all recruiting websites like ESPN and 24-7 Sports. And Keldon had offers from Kentucky, Georgetown, Louisville, Texas, and UCLA to name a few. But of course, no surprise here, Keldon signed with the Kentucky Wildcats because of Coach Calipari. Honestly, I would have done the same thing. And Keldon was joined by fellow recruits like Emmanuel Quickly, EJ Montgomery, Ashton Hagens, and of course, Tyler Hero. As a freshman, Keldon averaged 13.5 points and 6 rebounds per game, as he would shoot 46.1% from the field and 38.1% from downtown, as he would score 19 points in a win over Tennessee on February 16, 2019, and he would pull down a career high of 17 rebounds in a victory over Auburn, and following the season, he declared for the 2019 NBA Draft where he was projected as a lottery pick. Then, on June 20, 2019, he was shockingly selected with the 29th overall pick by the San Antonio Spurs in the 2019 NBA Draft. Even Coach Calipari could not believe it. And the Spurs actually obtained his draft rights during the Kawhi and DeMar DeRozan trade. And Keldon signed with the Spurs on July 1, 2019. But sadly, Keldon spent the majority of his rookie season in the NBA G League with the Spurs G League affiliate, the Austin Spurs, with averages of 20.5 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 2.4 assists. Then Keldon made his NBA debut on November 22, 2019, playing in just 2 minutes in a loss to the Philadelphia 76ers. Then on August 11, 2020, he would score then a season high of 24 points in a win over the Houston Rockets along with 11 rebounds and 3 assists. Then he would have rookie averages of 9 points in 18 minutes played in both the normal games and the bubble. On January 1, 2021, Keldon would score a career high of 26 points in a loss to the Los Angeles Lakers with 10 rebounds, 2 steals, an assist, and a block. Then Keldon would finish a great second season with averages of 12.8 points, 1.8 assists, and 6 rebounds. Then Keldon would be a member of the USA Select team that practiced and trained with the 2020 US Olympic team. And after impressing USA coaches and executives, Keldon would make the US Olympic team that went to Tokyo. Then Keldon would display his two-way skills on a undersized USA team that ended up winning the Olympic gold medal. Then Keldon would start breaking out by having an amazing third season with averages of 17 points, 2 assists, 6.1 rebounds shooting 39% from downtown. Then on July 18, 2022, the Spurs rewarded Keldon with a 4-year, $80 million rookie scale contract extension. And this season, through 7 games as of the recording of this video, Keldon is having a breakout season with averages of 23.9 points, 4 assists, 5.4 rebounds, shooting an amazing 43.5% from downtown, with performances of 21 points against the 76ers, 27 points against the Timberwolves, and 33 points against the Chicago Bulls, while leading the team in scoring and a record of 5-2. Yes, it's early in the season, but you can't tell me that Keldon isn't having a breakout season with these amazing performances against great teams. And this proves that Keldon is now the main man in San Antonio amidst the quest for Victor Wembanyama. And Keldon is looking very confident in his jump shot with his new approach to the game. And Keldon went from, I need someone to set me up with scoring opportunities, to now creating scoring opportunities for himself and for his teammates. And Keldon became a shot creating 3 and D player that can serve the team on both ends of the floor with maximum effort. And I feel like Keldon actually has the potential to be very special in the NBA one day when he has a better cast of players around him while also improving his handles. And Keldon's 6 foot 9 wingspan will allow him to make shots over smaller defenders while also holding defenders at bay. And if, and only if, his development goes well, I think that we are now looking at a future NBA All-Star in the making. So good luck Keldon, I'm cheering for you man and good luck this season and I hope you do well and may God bless you and your family. So I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's video about Keldon Johnson 
and make sure to hit the like button and make it turn blue to show me that you enjoyed today's video and hit that amazing red subscribe button to join this amazing growing basketball family as their new basketball videos that are posted every single Friday and I do not want y'all to miss it. God bless, stay safe, and enjoy your weekend with your family while watching basketball wherever you are, and I shall see you all next week. Take it easy, goodbye.